or so. It'll be a little bit more durable. It won't pull loose. And you can see that the pens are piercing the wire cabling. Let me turn this around. Did it look on this end? Same thing here. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go ahead and strip away my insulation jacket here. And I'll try to do this at an angle so you can see. A lot easier to just use some wire strippers, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So sort of an exploding view. This will explode something before the night is through. And again, just pull back the fiber, pull back the insulation jacket. I'm going to trim this off. Well, not again, they're twisted together, so I want to untwist them, and we're going to follow standard A again. This is a straight through cable, so we're going to do the same thing on both sides. Um, we'll do orange, white, and orange, and then green, white. Remember that these orange, white, and orange were transmit and transmit. Green, white is going to be receive. Then we'll do blue and blue, white, which do nothing. At least for our intents and purposes. And then we'll do green, wire six, which is again receive. And then we'll do brown, white, and brown. I'm just kind of bringing those over there. I'm going to hold them with my thumbs, pull them out. Try to straighten them a little bit, then I'm going to trim them down. And again, we just want to check our colors. So, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, and brown. I'm going to take about another quarter inch off of that. And now I want to get my end. So here's my RJ45 end. pressure we want to slide it up in there into the jacket so it catches in those grooves notice how on both sides it's all the way up on the side all the way up on the side I look at the window here on the underside of the belly orange white orange I'm checking my colors again green white blue blue white green brown white and brown and then I look on the side here make sure that they're flush if you can see they're all flush against the edge there and I make sure that I've got my insulation jacket beyond this tab so when I crimp it'll catch on to that tab. Uh, uh, Again I'll apply some pressure and I'll go ahead and put it into my crimpers. Apply a little bit of pressure towards the crimper, hold it there, crimp down lightly so that it grabs the wires that's smug. I'm going to apply some more pressure. Again you need to put a good amount of pressure on, otherwise if, if it's a weak crimp, one of those pens might not make contact. But you don't want to go with too much pressure because you could end up breaking the end. The piece there. Alright, now it's good and snug cable there that won't come loose. That won't come loose. And let's go ahead and test it. This is a, a cheap nowhere tester I got online, it's about $35. Um, you can get them a lot more sophisticated and do a lot more things, but this will do basic cabling. What we're interested in uh, is a straight through cable, which will show that basically wires 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, and 7, 8 all line up, and then we'll also be interested in a crossover cable later. But I'll go ahead and pop this in on the end there. I like this particular one because this piece here is detachable. So if you're running cable through a ceiling, you can pull this off and go hang it off on the other side of the ceiling. But we'll go ahead and do a tester. Notice how we get all four lights. 
So it looks as though our cable is good as far as the straight through cable. In this case, transmit to transmit on 1, 2, and, and then receive to receive on 3 and 6. So there's our straight through cable. Okay. Now we'll trim one of these ends off and we'll make a crossover. A crossover is just like a normal cable on one end. So we'd use standard A. Again, let me put, pull this up. And can, you, can you focus on this? So a crossover would be just like our, our straight cable, right? We'd have transmit, so orange, white, and orange, and transmit. We would have green, white, receive, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. That's my daughter yelling in the background. I think my son is beating her up. But um, On the other end, however, we need to cross over the circuits. So look, orange, white, and orange here, they're both transmit. They're going to cross over to our receives. So remember that orange was receive. Or excuse me, remember that green was received and green white. Well, now orange, white, and orange are going to be received on the crossover side. And then our receive is going to cross over to transmit, hence the term crossover. So in this case, you know, green is going to go, you know, over here to orange, white, and green, white is going to go to orange. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me cross these over. We'll just snip this end off here. And I'll do the crossover as a separate video. Okay, we made a straight through cable. Now we're going to make a crossover cable. Um, notice our normal cable here, we had transmit and transmit on orange, white, and orange. We had receive and receive on green, white, and green. So what we'll do is we'll simulate a crossover circuit in a switch. Know how we know how a switch or how about a crossover circuit? Basically, it takes transmit and converts it to receive, or receive and converts it to transmit. That's what we'll do here, but we'll just do it with the cable. And these are good for patching port connections between switches, um, or you can connect two you know, devices directly to each other with a crossover cable sometimes if they don't require amplification. And the reason you need a crossover cable, if we have transmit and receive and we're connecting a switch to a switch, remember that everything that goes in that port goes through the crossover circuit. So what we need to do is create a crossover cable because we have to cross it over again to basically you know, create a normal signal. If transmit becomes receive, then we have to make receive transmit again when it comes out of the switch if we plug it into another switch. Unless you have one of those switches with uplink ports or some switches also have you know, um, a button on the back or a switch where you can you know, enable or disable the crossover circuit for certain ports. In this case, we'll just make a crossover cable. So again, orange white is going is going to go here, where it was wire three or wire one. Now it's going to become wire three. Orange, where it was wire two, is now going to become wire six, where green used to be. And then green white, in this case, is going to become wire one, where orange white used to be. And then green is going to become wire two, where orange used to be. Okay. So we'll just snip one of these ends off here, use the same cable, and I want to strip it a little bit, and I'll do it so you guys can see it. Pull back the insulation jacket. Now. From our last normal cable, I'm still using this sense. Remember, that's still normal. I have orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, um, green, and then brown, white, and brown. Brain fart there. them just on the end. Still twisted inside the jacket, but we're untwisting them on the end so we can line them up to run them into our end, RG45 end there. 